Yeah. Free beer and hot wings in the morning. Grand Rapids rocks all day. 97.9 GRD rocks. Partly cloudy, seasonable, 73 the high. It's about 62 downtown GR. Yep. Uh, sometimes when you know, part of the reason you watch the news is to learn things you don't know. But in this case, it's learning something is a problem. You didn't even know was something that happened more than once in forever. Well, I had no idea there was an uptick in something like this. And why? Uh, I wonder if there's an obvious explanation as to why there would be an uptick in the number of balloons being released. More celebrations. Yeah, I guess. In Van Buren County, who says balloon releases, we often see them for victims of a crime, are happening more frequently and they're causing problems on the beaches. She volunteers her time to clean up the trash that's along the lakeshore. And 24 Hour News 8's Marvis Herring went along with her to South Avon to see firsthand that cleanup effort. We found all sorts of trash up and down this beach in Van Buren County, including this balloon and many others. But the message this morning oh, is... You better one. show me many others. <laughs> yeah, right. We found one balloon. Can you imagine if he threw it over his shoulder? <laughs> anyway, that's where this goes. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me just tie this around this duck. <laughs> Balloons. It's about what you can do to help. This is what we're all talking about. You could say Donna White has an eye for trash. Plastic, plastic, plastic. Especially when it's on the shoreline of the Van Buren County State Park. You see this, and it looks clean. But then you see the minute. In the first few minutes, I saw what she was talking about, from ribbons to straws and just about everything in between. That is pretty true on any beach you go yeah, to around is, here. Yeah, it is. Any state park. Around anywhere. Really. Yeah. I, mean, I don't think people... it has, like a lot of, most of what they're showing, though, not balloons. No. This is, it's weird to say, well, wow, it's a big spike in balloons. Apparently, it's a big spike in Reese's peanut butter cups. Surely too, there were a lot of those to it. it. <laughs> I, I assume right? we are, because it does say balloon releases leading to more litter. I think it, litter is more litter. Are, is each of the balloons carrying a bucket of litter into the air? I mean, I guess that's possible. You know, I mean, people are attaching balloons to pinatas. Oh, I didn't know that's where my litter went when I released it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Food container. There's a tobacco, chewing tobacco can. Is that a pill bottle? Yeah, a pill bottle. I'll check it. All of it Maybe washing up or being left on the shoreline. And that includes balloons. Here we go. I'm going to pop this. White says that's one thing Thank you may not first right, think right. about, especially in the wake of tragedy. I don't want you to have to take pictures of trash, but... That's it. There's been recent balloon releases in response to yeah. West Michigan incidents and attacks like the one in Manchester. White doesn't want to take away from honoring the people affected, but suggests alternatives like blowing bubbles instead. It's a lot of work. It takes a lot of energy to clean this entire shoreline. Well, bubbles so only last for like... That's you no know, like fun. A, like a good bubble you might be able to get a minute out of if you're lucky. People grieve their own way, but if you saw what happened in England... And thought, well, the only way I can do this is go release a Mylar balloon near Lake Michigan. That's a, that's a strange way to go. That cope. really is dumb. It it's is. not for me to tell you how to do it, but the it only is. Time, I am. The only time you should release a balloon, though, is when you attach like, your elementary GoPro. school to it. Oh. And then you see how far it goes if it, it makes it to Canada. Yeah, or you not. get a crappy and pen pal. A, and then you get a call. Mine got stuck in a tree. Mm -hmm. So I was very sad about that. There's a lot of stupid in this But, story. I mean, maybe these are, yeah, you know, who crazy. knows? These might not even be from here. These might be from Milwaukee. I'll yeah, bet they true. are. Those are filthy Milwaukee-looking yeah. balloons. Typically, the, the winds aren't gusting towards the lakeshore from here. Typically not. You know, I mean, maybe you get some sort of a backdraft. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure how the tides work. That is what that I movie was about. Mm -hmm. It is. It is, yeah. Ask Donna, why now? Why did she decide to help? And she says Complain. the recent presidential election had a big impact. And there's a wave of uncertainty about if federal funds for the Great Lakes will decrease. But it's a perfect time, Donna says, for beachgoers to step up. This is not, this is fake news. After the election, I said, I got to do something. Wait, and what? I, this is fake news. What's I fake got, news? It, what are you talking is about? Marvis, that is that not a real balloon that Marvis is holding? <laughs> she doesn't know she's on TV. Yeah, is, there not, is there not really plastic on the beach or is there? Or what, is, yeah, but you got to learn what this whole fake news thing is. Maybe I can't just even, avoid the words fake news altogether. I'm not sure which. Words. Like, oh boy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Got to 
is do something locally. And there is well, a big a good... cleanup event coming up soon. We'll post more information about that at woodtv.com. In Van Buren County, Marvis Herring, 24 Hour News 8. And the reaction so back. I think oh, I might have just, the, maybe I would have just done the story about the litter and left her out of it. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or at least when she's doing, when she's doing the cleanup, I would like her to have her pet crow on her shoulder. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, um, she was, uh, like kind of wacky. Yeah. To her credit, she's, uh, she's doing a good thing. No, I mean, it's great. Time. It's good. I'm not, yeah, it's definitely good. I, I won't take that away from didn't, her. Didn't add a lot, though, to the story. Mm -hmm. The real story is that there's crap all over the beach, and people need to do a better job picking their stuff up. But yeah. they already know that. The ones, yeah. the ones who know that don't do it already. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, a lot of people don't care, and it only takes a handful to make the beaches have garbage on them. And mm -hmm. that will always happen. It only takes a handful, but I would say more people trash them than not. Yeah. Let's get the happy yeah. chat, though. Maybe they solve it. Oh, yeah. Trash is picked up every year in mm -hmm. those cleanup efforts, and these are definitely concerns. We spoke with an environmental science professor from Western Michigan University about that. You know, we know the Great Lakes make up 20% of the world's fresh surface water, and this is something that they look into. They, they want to know what's happening. How are we impacting the water? The expert that we talked to we talked about this report they do every two years at the International Joint Commission. And that's Typically, good. the report card is not great in terms of um, overall and cut them off, thank of you. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, no, he says, the only way we can fix it is, and you can see more for that. <laughs> right. If you go to his office and listen to him drone on forever. <laughs> well, we'll tell you more at, on our, no, not even on our website. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one thing in the last five We'd years. We'd like we to hear what the professor has to say, but we're going to cut him off to find out your thoughts on Twitter. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. How many Facebook likes has this professor gotten? Mm -hmm. Not oh, many. Yeah. <laughs> humans uh, on the Great Lakes. Now, unlike oceans, Dr. Kohler says that uh, this first paper looking at the effects of pollution on the Great Lakes wasn't published until 2013, so there's still a Evan. long ways to go yeah. in this research. Non-invasive species, non-native invasive species right. are the biggest issue right now facing the Great Lakes. I think his concern is we haven't looked into this that much. O only 2013, that's the first time we're really digging into it. Non-native would generally be an so. invasive species. Mm -hmm. I think if it was native, it wouldn't really be invasive. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's just vacationing. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, it could <laughs> be just visiting. Yeah, just visiting. Yeah. I assume it's the zebra mussels who are bringing all the plastics to our shorelines. And the Chicagoans. They mm -hmm. would do that. Yeah. All filled oh, they are everybody. not. In, uh, they are invasive. An Asian carp filled with Ziploc bags, and they just throw it in the water. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. All right. What a ridiculous story. Green Day. Longview. We'll see you later. It's 97.9 GRD Rocks.